Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, I had an uh, interesting question. And of course, I see a lot of comments. And that question actually derives from some of the comments that they've seen on the channel. And uh, the, that uh, viewer actually loves Windows 10. And he's very curious because he uh, has seen posts of people saying, well, you know, Windows 10 is junk and I'm going back to Windows 7 or I'm using Windows 7 and uh, it's not true that it's unsafe and so on. And uh, of course, his curiosity is, do you, you know, what do you like? Would you prefer going back to Windows 7 if it was still supported and you were a regular user, everyday user? And the uh, simple and very quick answer is absolutely not. First of all, just look at what it looks like right now. Kind of looks like an old system, you know. It's of if it's from the past, and we have moved forward. And Windows 7, um, even though a very nice operating system at its time, uh, very solid, is far from being as good as Windows 10 is capable in performance and in how things are actually optimized for new PCs. Um, so when I see comments of people, oh, well, you know, I'm going back to Windows 7 because that's how, um, you know, that's so much better. It's more Windows bashing than anything else. There's nothing better about Windows 7, and I mean absolutely nothing. Windows 10 is actually great. I find it much more interesting than Windows 7. It feels more modern, and even though Windows 11 is here and also is interesting, um, I mean, it's come to the point where it's very mature, extremely rock solid. And, um, you know, side-by-side -side tests, anybody that tells me Windows 7 is actually much more, um, you know, uh, doesn't crash and is much more, um, you know, interesting to use in, in, in its menus. And, um, you know, it, it is, of course, uh, a operating system that does not uh, crash all the time and so on. I will just answer back. Windows 10 does not crash all the time. Windows 10 is as solid as Windows 7. It does not have any issues. I find that Windows 10 is a way more interesting operating system to use and to have than Windows 7 ever was. Um, it is also optimized, like I said earlier. What is uh, the optimization? Well, first of all, Windows 10 uses a lot more efficiently the RAM memory. And it shows because everything is much faster than Windows 7 ever was. On the same system with benchmarks, most benchmarks will tell you Windows 10 is way more efficient. And um, for those that say that, well, I'm using Windows 7 and I've got a good antivirus, so it doesn't matter if I don't have the updates. These are obviously people that have absolutely no idea about computers and security. Uh, anybody that just tells me he's using Windows 7 now, you have no idea what you're doing. And you have no idea what computers are all about. Um, I hope you're not the family expert because uh, that family is in trouble, I can tell you that. Windows 10 has always been rather rock solid. Um, it's been, you know, one of the biggest problems with Windows 10 was um, a couple of uh, the big feature updates that for some people created some issues and over time. But you know what? Um, that is long gone. We've now had mostly small uh, updates that are um, cumulative updates rather than big feature updates. And I would believe that that's pretty much what we'll have every year. I don't, I don't see Windows 10 getting very, very big updates in the future. But definitely, I would not go back. Another very cool advantage of Windows 10 is its cumulative updates. Windows 7 is, you know, a operating system, and any tech guy is going to tell you that when they reinstalled the operating system at, you know, in, in clients' homes and so on, they're going to tell you that Windows 7 is a hell to install for a tech guy to have all the updates ready and everything, where Windows 10 cumulative updates um, actually work in a marvelous way. Your system gets one big update or just a few updates that are so much quicker to install. And of course, uh, they are updated all the time, so you never are very far off in Windows 10 because every feature update contains all the previous updates. 
that new system of updates, even though it's not perfect, is a light years ahead of Windows 7. So, you know, um, when I see people say, just bash Windows 10, uh, you know, I don't like it, that's not even a comment. It's not even, you know, a criticism. I don't like it is not even explaining anything. It's, you don't even, you know, say what you don't like. So it's funny how, you know, uh, you just see that it's Windows bashing in general, just like Windows 11, a lot of Windows 11 bashing, which is unnecessary. But uh, if your only comment is to say Windows 11 is crap, <laughs> it's not even, it's not even a criticism. You don't even explain anything. So your comment is not even going to go through because I, it's, it's, it's just too dumb. But definitely, Windows 10 is uh, where I would stay. Um, I would probably move on to Windows 11 because I use it every day and I kind of like it. It's not perfect and it's you know missing things. But one thing for sure, don't ask me to go back to Windows 7 ever. Um, not interested. Old system and totally insecure today after almost two years now of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of security flaws that are so easy to exploit that... You will be exploited. You will be snooped on. You will be your computer will be controlled, uh, and you won't even know that it's happening. And that's how ignorant people that are using Windows Seven without security updates are. I have no clue as to security what's all about, and have no clue how you know they are at the mercy of all the hackers out there. So uh, Windows Ten would be my choice for most PCs, and you know, Windows 11 isn't that bad. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.